from Jen's Extraordinary Life and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to show you a quick um, little easy way to make queso in the crock pot and then um, you have it for whenever, all day long or an event or whatever you want to do. Today we've got a ton of stuff going on. I'm going to be baking some cookies later um, and so I wanted something for the kids to be able to just grab and munch on throughout the day. Um, and so I thought, let's just toss some queso into the crock pot. And you've probably seen tons of videos with Velveeta and um, all the other things. I just find that that does not melt as good. Um, it's, it, it works, it's great, um, but for long term and having it all day long, I think this works a little bit better for me. Um, but if you have another recipe, you do what you wanna do. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with this. After we get this queso ready, I'm going to set out some chips some um, various taco shells and um, toppings and things on the counter so that people can graze all day long. And then um, I'm also, I have pulled out some Taco Tuesday meat from the freezer that I prepared previously. So it's already made up taco meat. And then if they want to make nachos with meat or tacos or whatever, they've got all of that. Or if they just want chips and queso, go for it. But while I'm baking all day long, I won't be worried about making lunch and everything for everybody. So first things first, I almost forgot to spray my crock pot. So let's get that going. I do have my crock pot here on warm. I've already put it on warm. I'm gonna spray it real quick with some pan. And this is just because you know how cheese sticks. And I don't want to be having to clean that mess up. All right, so what I have here are some various cheeses. I've got some, the deluxe American cheese. I'm going to chop that up. This is the slices, and the reason I got the slices is because um, it's just easier to chop up because it's already sliced through one way. So I'm just going to take, I don't know if you can see this, Move this crock pot over a little bit. I'm just taking the stacks and kind of cutting through them to make little cubes. And then I'm just going to take this and um, put it in my crock pot, break up these slices. This cheese melts really nicely. And so I just do this um, in the morning and then when everybody gets up and gets moving around and whatever, it's nice and ready. If you wanted to start it a little bit later, you could put it on high, but you risk the chance of burning the cheese and the milk and everything. So I like to just do it this way. All right, so it does take a few minutes to separate all these little pieces of cheese. But that's like the longest part of this whole recipe. And you could toss it in there without slicing, without, um, you know, separating all of these, but this just helps it cook a little easier and more evenly. So I told you I had the American cheese. The other thing I have is a block of pepper jack. Oops, those just fell right in there. Get a little carried away here. Um, a block of pepper jack, which I will cube up also. And then the other things you're gonna need is some evaporated milk. And I have one of the large cans and one of the small cans. Um, by large, I mean 12 ounces and small is five ounces. Also a can of Rotel. And I got the Mexican style lime and chili. That's just my preference. You could use whatever, mild or whatever. And then just some green chilies. 
You don't have to use the whole can of green chilies. If you don't like it um, very spicy, you could just put some in there. I'm gonna kind of play it by ear and see what I think when I start putting it in there. Let me cube up this other hunk of cheese. And get those in there and then we'll get the rest of the piece the ingredients in um i would love to know what kind of chips you like with your queso and the reason i asked that is for the longest time i used the cantina chips then i used the um the ones that are like the restaurant style, and then I switched to the thin and crispy, then um, I discovered On the Border, and I really liked that brand, but recently I found these kettle style tortilla chips, and I think I got some, let me check. I was pretty sure I had grabbed the bag for today. So these are um, kettle style corn tortilla chips. Y'all, they'll hold some queso. They'll hold some, all the things. So, um, you know, if you've got a thick dip or whatever, those chips aren't gonna break off. They're gonna hold it. And I don't know how I didn't know about them before. Maybe they never made them before, who knows, but um, super yummy. Another thing you can do is make your own. If you have some soft taco shells, you can cut them into little triangles and spray them with a little bit of cooking spray and then pop them in the oven or the toaster oven. I've done it in the toaster oven too. You can put it on broil and cook them and then you have your own homemade um chips and they're a little probably a little bit better for you than the preservatives that are in these all right pepper jack cheese block of that and i'm just going to cube that up as well and this probably going to take a little longer to melt than that American because it's not sliced through. I was really looking for some um, sliced pepper jack at the deli, but they didn't have any when I went the other day. So this is what we got and it's fine. It's just gonna be a little bit thicker pieces, so they may take a little longer to melt. I really like getting the sandwich ones though because they they melt through really nice and quick quickly. But you can make them as thin as you want when you're cutting it. So Is it cold where you guys are? I'd love to know. I'm always curious. So we're in the panhandle of Florida and this week, um, it has just started getting colder and colder and colder. And I mean, cold for us is probably nothing for a lot of you guys. Um, but it was 19 degrees last night and it was this morning when I got up too. And so, I woke up to frozen pipes in our um, tankless water heater that the unit is on the outside of the house. And I didn't think that, you know, we needed to insulate that and never dawned on me. 
but we woke up with no hot water this morning. So YouTube to the rescue. We found a video on how to thaw that. And I was really worried that all of our pipes were frozen and it was gonna cost us a million dollars or something because that's, you know, sometimes how it happens. And we were very blessed that it was not. It was just some frozen pipes inside the unit. And turns out you can remove the front of the unit and thaw those out with a blow dryer. Who knew? Now I do, and now you do. So there's some useless information, hopefully useless, because hopefully nobody else ever has to deal with that. But we did this morning, and I was grateful for YouTube for somebody having a video on, about that. Um, there was also some great tips on there from that guy on how to protect it and keep that from happening in the first place. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to put his link in there. I, I don't, I'm just feeling compelled to do that today. So let's share that love. And just in case somebody else has that same problem that we had, you'll have his little video on how to fix all of that. Nothing to do with my extraordinary life, but I guess it kind of is, right? Because, you know, that's kind of, extraordinary stuff that happens to me. All right, finally have all the cheese cubed up. Get that in there. And I was at my sister's house um, for the past couple of weeks. Um, if you saw my video my Vlogmas 23 video, um, you'll know about that, but, and the circumstances behind it. But while I was there, my brother-in-law was telling me that he has trouble hearing me in my videos. So I want to know if what I'm doing today is better. So if you'll let me know, I would really appreciate that. Also, I have this little bit of this taco blend cheese left in the fridge, so, I'm just gonna add it in there, just because. It's um, basically it's cheese with taco seasoning in it. So you wanna make sure you shake your evaporated milk really well. And I'm pour that in there. And this is just gonna help it be creamier. I used about half a can of those chilies. I'm gonna save it um, and see if I want to add more later once this melts, but if not, then I'll just um, freeze those for another use. All right, everything is in there now. You're just gonna take it and give it a good stir. I like to use a wooden spoon for this. I guess I could have had that in a better view of the camera, huh? Anyhow, so you're just gonna stir that up and then it's gonna do its magic and start working and melting and everything and then we'll be able to use it. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of time. I'm gonna move on to some other things, but that's gonna set there. Again, it's on low and um, that's gonna sit there and start melting that cheese and everything, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna taste it. So I'll see you back in just a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's been a little bit of time today, a couple hours, and um, this yummy, delicious queso has been cooking. Let me show you how it looks here. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. Mm, looks delicious. And I'm going to give it a try with these chips I told you about, these kettle chips. All right. They're really thick. That one's bent, bent in half, so let me just get a plain one so I can show you. 
See how nice and thick they are? <laughs> They're just, I don't know, little things excite me. All right, so it's gonna hold this queso really nicely. See, yummy, cheesy, creamy. It's got all the things on it, let's give it a try. Mm. That's good stuff. Okay. I'm going to leave this out all day for the guys to come scoop up a plateful and make nachos or tacos or whatever they want to make with this all day long. And then I don't have to worry about feeding them until we have our dinner. And that gives me time to prepare all of the things. Um, because I have a lot of stuff to cook today. So anyway, quick, easy tip. This makes a great appetizer um, on the go. If you have somewhere that you're going for a potluck or whatever, you could put this in and then take a bag of chips and you're good to go. Or maybe you have company coming over or whatever, but I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you like these kind of videos, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, um, come back for more. And I appreciate you. I love you guys. And until next time, have an extraordinary life. Bye-bye.